Hi sewing friends, it's Alice Murray with Mermaid Designs and welcome to day 18 of 365 days of Sewing Makes Challenge where I'm going to show you 365 things that I've made. I hope. We'll see how it goes. But thank you for tuning in. Please like and share and subscribe. I appreciate it very, very much and for all your support. And today I want to show you a very special make. It is Butterick 4386. It, um, it's a 2004 pattern, but it has kind of a vintage vibe with this neckline on it. It is called a fast and easy and it is um, called a six sew because it has kind of six different versions of it. And uh, the line drawings are teeny tiny on this. But uh, there is a zipper in the back, which I did put in. Uh, it's made for wovens. They suggest uh, crepe or silk, but I actually made it out of kind of a uh, heavy uh, stretch knit. Uh, I think you would call this a ponty. And I made the uh, kind of the plain version, version E. It has darts in the front and darts in the back. And I'll just show you my version. What is it, Joey? Joey is helping today. He thinks I'm going to pick him up. So this uh, dress is very special to me because I made this dress for my son's wedding. He got married a year ago in April. And um, so it was kind of a big deal making this dress because uh, weddings are kind of a big deal. And being the mother of the groom, that's kind of a big deal. So, you know, I wanted, I wanted to look good. It actually fit me better when I first made it. They call it COVID-19 because you're going to gain 19 pounds, I think is the truth of it. Uh, but it, it fits okay. I put the zipper in the back. It has a uh, little kick pleat in the back. I was very impressed with my shoe choice that I didn't fall off of them because I am not accustomed to wearing high heels. Um, it has kind of this broad neckline. Uh, I love, I love the material. It was eye-catching in the store. I got it in Fabricland. It was eye-catching in the store and uh, I, I thought it was very nice. What didn't go so well, uh, this pattern, uh, what caught my eyes, it said it was for petites and I'm very short. So I thought, oh wow, that's great. But I, uh, you know, and I looked at the back and it had the measurements and how much material you needed for different sizes. But what I didn't look at was uh, what size the pattern actually is. And uh, so this pattern is actually size 16 to 22. And, you know, according to the measurements, I would have probably needed like maybe the size 10. So it was quite big to start with and I had to take it in quite a bit to make it fit and the neckline is kind of sticky outy like it doesn't doesn't like to lay flat and I didn't know what to do to fix that so I just found myself doing this a lot kind of trying to wrestle it down so, but I think to the uninformed observer, you wouldn't probably notice that unless I told you. So anyways, I think this uh, pattern is a winner, but I would 
suggest you check the sizing before you buy it, any pattern, uh, to get the size that you are and not a size that you have to make. Um, so yeah, I think it's a winner. And um, it was a beautiful day. And my grateful thread today for sure is uh, my children-in-law. I have the three best children-in-law in the whole world. And um, I'd love to hear uh, if you who you're grateful for in your family. Tell me below in the comments. That would be fun. And I hope you're sewing. And I hope you're sewing for any special events you have in your life. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm a beginner sewer. So don't go bravely. So sew, because sewing is so much fun. Till next time.